What made you take the plunge? You were obviously very successful. I knew you by reputation. You were the commercial director of ITV. Obviously a very good job and you were very good at it. What possessed you to go and do something completely different? Um, I came out of ITV. Um, it was a sort of regime change too many, so for all sorts of reasons left ITV. Um, the bit that was always interesting about ITV on the commercial side was the stuff that made us money was the drama. And that was all about heads or hearts, not heads. Yeah. It's the way you engage with the characters, the backstories, the sort of rounding out of, the, of what you see on screen. Um, I used, I mean, I drink, and it's one of those areas where you think, why do I select one brand over another? Yeah. And actually, it's because they often engage hearts, not heads. The imagination. Yeah. Your image of yourself. Yeah. So we looked at, I, look, I was always fascinated by how the Scots owned Scotland. So you look at the way Scotch whiskey, the yeah. imagery around it, yeah. you look at big moody hills, yeah. uh, why, you know, clear water, uh, dark, brooding hills, stormy seas, and, and they own that. Uh, whiskey was basically called Scotch, right? Yeah. I mean, what yeah. about Irish whiskey? It's pretty well, good. But yeah. so prevalent was it and such a good quality product, it became synonymous with whiskey everywhere. Yeah, so I looked, I live in Surrey, uh, near the north, in the North Downs, um, looked at that patch. It's a stunning piece of ground and just wondered, could we capture in Surrey what the Scots capture in Scotland? So that's what we did. That's what we set out to do.